Steve, the surveillance video does not have audio, but it does give us a look at the moments before and after Officer Nathan Blanford shot suspect Deng Menyon. Their encounter lasted roughly 45 seconds. A surveillance camera outside of Smoker's Smoke Shop shows Officer Nathan Blanford approaching suspect Deng Mignon outside a local business on South 4th Street on Saturday afternoon. The two exchange words and then Mignon walks away from Officer Blanford out of the camera sight. Blanford then pulls his gun and Mignon returns in the frame with a pole in his hand. He swings the pole towards Blanford and that's when, according to Chief Steve Conrad, he fired two shots. Mignon was pronounced dead at University Hospital. Sunday, Chief Conrad gave his reaction to the video. I think, you know, the officer felt like he was in danger of being killed or suffering serious physical injury based on this, which would allow him under the law and under our policies to go to that option. Blanford has been with LMPD since 2005. Chief Conrad says Mignon matched a description of a suspect who had reportedly assaulted a woman in the 300 block of West Oak Street at one point snatching her purse. I'm told he grabbed the purse, pulled it off her head, threw it down the street, grabbed her cell phone, threw it down the street, and started to punch her. People who often saw Mignon around the old Louisville neighborhood says his behavior displayed on camera was out of character. Some placed flowers outside the barber shop where his body fell after being shot. He had to have been just going through it to swing at an officer because he, he, I've never seen him swing at anybody. I've never like, I mean, I don't know him well, well, but I've never, from what I know of him, he's not like the type that would do that. Chief Conrad says there may have been a language barrier between Mignon, who is African, and Blanford. I have not reached any conclusions about whether or not this use of force was justified. I, I can look at the video and, and based on my 35 years of experience as a police officer, form some opinions, but this investigation has, has got to be completed. And Steve, investigators will also review dash cam video right now. We know the Commonwealth Attorney's Office will review this case, and Officer Blanford is on administrative leave. Live outside of Metro Police Headquarters tonight, I'm Elisa Gale, WOKY News.